Hello everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I want to say, everything that I state in this video and in most of my videos is my opinion and my opinion only. Please do not send hate, mean comments, nasty things, threats to anybody mentioned in this video, um, whether it's YouTubers, Instagrammers, brands, anyone. Just don't send any hate. Okay, now that I got your attention, I know there are some of my loyal subscribers right now who are sitting there going, okay, who, who are we going after? Like, you know, who made Lisa mad? And nobody did. I just wanted to show something that we see this a lot on drama channels. And by the way, um, I'm gonna be putting on some makeup and it's mini day. And crackers, oh, crackers, it's mini day. Yes, because it's February. All right, what am I gonna wear on my face? While I'm trying to discover this, I just wanna say that, you know, we watch a lot of videos, right? YouTube videos, drama videos, you know, and usually they state it at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video, and it's written in their description about don't send anybody any hate, blah, blah, blah. It's their opinion and their own opinion, blah, blah, blah. But how often do people listen to that? When you have loyal subscribers on YouTube, um, they're going to have your back, you know, especially if you're, you know, saying things about another YouTuber, you know, or maybe Instagram or Twitter or whatever, like, they're going to have your back and want to go, hey, you know, you got our girl or I got our guy all wrong and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it just, we see it happening all the time and... Not many people pay attention. Not many people don't go, you know, um, if you're loyal to somebody and be like, yeah, 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 full of this, but you're canceled, blah, 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 you know? Um, and I've seen that this morning. I've seen it happen. Um, I watched Jen Loves Reviews live this morning. She was talking about the BoxyCharm and uh, the YouTuber, not your evil stepmother. Not so evil, not so evil stepmother. I think that's her name, but talking about her video that she came up with on BoxyCharm about the story about cosmetics and you know um, all of that, and we're gonna get into it. And Jen had said at the beginning of her video, I'm assuming because I didn't get the beginning of the video, but I know at the end, like don't send. And this girl's name is Alex. Don't send her any hate, you know, um, and that stuff. And then. Not So Evil Stepmother had a live, now I only got the last five minutes of it, and reading the comments, she got a lot of hate, and then reading Jen's comments on her live, she got, you know, Alex, the girl's name, got a lot of hate, right? And it's like, oh my God, this is so sad. Like, it's just so sad, and I don't know if it's because I have, like, you know, a big heart, and I'm a small YouTuber, and I have said, you know, that if somebody had sent me that information, I probably would have made a video as well. Like, oh my God, guess what? You know what I mean? And from what I'm gathering, this girl didn't have all the facts. You know, um, from what I'm taking from it, I didn't think she had all the facts. And I said, I don't think she made um, the video. It could have been done differently without having so many people come down on her. You know what I mean? Okay, we need a primer first. What primer are we going to use? Uh, my face feels like it needs some hydration. So I'm going to use my coconut one because it just, I can't find my Yenza small primer anywhere. Can't find it. That's not good, right? My favorite primer is the Yenza, but I love this um, First Aid Beauty, right? Coconut skin primer. So the girl got a lot of hate and so I'm watching her video and she's visibly upset. You know, I, I read the comments on Jen's video and I know Jen had the best intentions, like please don't send her any hate. You know, but being a YouTuber, I know I have loyal subscribers. And I know that if, you know, somebody was saying something about me on their video and if one of my loyal subscribers seen it, you know, um, they would probably say something back or, if I, you know, talked about somebody, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I love Jen Loves Reviews. Love, 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 love her. I love her. I mention her on my channel all the time. I don't so much know Alex, the evil, the not-so-evil stepmother. I think I've only seen a couple of her videos. I did watch the BoxyCharm video. 
but I'm not passing any judgment on her whatsoever. Don't send her any, like, don't, let's just not do that, right? Um, but I, you know, maybe, I think maybe she was a little bit misinformed and, and, and a lot of us were, you know, on, on both ends of it, we were all misinformed. I, I kind of think I understand now what's happening and why certain companies did what they did. Um, so I'm thinking I'm understanding. I just know that I think the issue, if I had an issue with a lot of it, would be that the lack of transparency. I think that would be my only issue with any of it. If I had an issue, which I don't, because you know what? Let's, uh, we need to find a foundation. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to try the little mini Dior foundation that I have here and see if that's going to work. I got my mirror. I got to hold up my mirror. <clears throat> okay, so anyways, let's backtrack. So the not-so-evil stepmother on her video came out and implied that um, BoxyCharm bought the packages of Storybook Cosmetics. Now, I think I'm getting this right, guys. If I'm not getting this right, forgive me because it's just it just seems like that was so long ago. <laughs> that I watched that video, but that's what they implied, I think, that um, BoxyCharm bought, bought the packages and had the eyeshadow palettes for the Storybook Cosmetics, um, had those eyeshadow little round thingy-majiggies made in China, okay? And um, it wasn't disclosed. And the truth of all of that was the not disclosed part because most... Storybook Cosmetics, all Storybook Cosmetics palettes are made in the USA, except for the three BoxyCharm eyeshadow palettes. They were made in, um, the, in, in China, right? So BoxyCharm also, I believe, with Ciate Beauty, the blush, um, the iconic London, I have seen going around that that eyeshadow palette Palette Iconic London on their website says it's made in Italy, but the BoxyCharm one it was made in China. Same thing as Ciate London. I believe this was made in Italy or the U.S., but the blush and the highlight, I believe, were made in China. Okay, so I watched Jen's video, and she debunked a lot of it, you know what I mean? Um, and I, I just, I think the evil stepmother went about it the wrong way, and what I've come to understand because I was speaking with the owner of Storybook Cosmetics. Um, I made a comment under Jen's video. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did I? Did I? <gasps> I'm dead. I'm dead. God, I'm dead. I got an Ian shirt. Oh my God. I'm dead. Hold on. Okay, so I just dropped some foundation on Ian's shirt and um, I still have it on because he knows I'm not done my video yet. So I quietly went out to the kitchen and grabbed some OxyClean laundry pre-treatment spray and sprayed it on the shirt. Thank God I'm doing laundry today. This better come out or I'm dead. How do you get foundation out of your clothes? That's all I want to know. Okay, so back to the story. So, I don't, like I said, I don't know um, the evil stepmother personally. And I want to think that everybody is good and positive so I'm going to think that she had the best intentions with her video I think she just did it wrong you know and I think she was informed wrong because from what storybook cosmetics lady came in and told me and this is what she wrote under my comment on Jen's video um, and again I don't care if anything is made in China or not and I know some people do and some people don't because if you want to be honest 95% of the products that's in our house is made in China like let's be honest unless you're you know totally green clean household which we're not I just don't think we can afford that and I wouldn't even know where to start but we're not but I know a lot of people are right I also know that a lot of people um, you know I believe what some issues people might have with beauty is um, tested on animals and I think in China at some of their labs they can test on animals you know I don't know if these labs were tested you know the products was tested on animals or however they do it I don't know that I'm not saying it was 
So don't say that I did. I don't know that. But I know there are some places in China that are tested on animals. You know what I mean? I just don't know if these labs were whatever, you know, these companies picked. And um, I think the evil stepmother came and made it sound like... Uh, I don't know if she was trying to make it sound like the brands didn't know that Boxy did this, but the brands did know. And from what I'm gathering, the reason why... Or I can't speak on Ciate London and um, Iconic or Ciate or Iconic London, but where's my Instagram? I'm going to Facebook. That's what I'm doing. Uh, but Storybook Cosmetics stated, and they wrote in under my video, the reason why they made the three box charm palettes in China was because their lab in the US couldn't make the amount of palettes that BoxyCharm needed. So that's why they went to their lab in China. She said there are many reasons we choose, uh, we chose to use our lab in China for this order and the number one reason for that was that it just could not be accomplished in their US lab. So they were well aware of it. There was no Box charm just bought the packages and you know put the little pans of eyeshadow and had it made in China, you know what I mean? And that's all that they got from Storybook. And I think that's what the evil stepmother was saying it was nothing like that. They actually knew, you know, that they were going to go to China to make um, the palettes, the three boxy charm palettes, because they just couldn't do it in their USA lab. So they went to their lab in China to make it. So everybody was aware. Um, and I think, because Storybook is a small brand, I'm thinking that's probably the same for Iconic London and Ciate Beauty because wherever their labs are that, you know, most of the products come from, I just don't think that they were able to handle the big, huge order that BoxyCharm would have given them to put in all of the BoxyCharm boxes. So I'm thinking that's why they went to their lab in China to get it done, you know, most likely cheaper, um, but they were able to do it faster and make all of those boxes. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of why people are having having issue with it is that it wasn't that we didn't know, and a lot of people didn't know in regard to some of these boxes until we got our box. You know, and we've seen that. It was made in China and whereas we know that some of these brands are made in other countries like USA Canada Italy you know what I mean and I think that was the issue was that we didn't know that because you know when the brand comes in with a spoiler some people go on the brand's page and it says made in Italy made in USA and people are good with that you know what I mean um, and then we get the box and it's made in People's Republic of China. Now, there's nothing wrong, again, I'll state it again, I don't want anybody to come at me. I don't have any issue with things made in China. Pretty much everything in my house is made in China, okay? And I'm sure I use products all the time that's made in China. But I know there are some people who have issues with it. Like some people will only buy cruelty-free items, you know, and um, child labor laws and, you know, or child labor, like some we don't know and that's the thing like we don't know where what lab it was made in you know what i mean um and i think that's what people have an issue with is just that that wasn't transparent you know do i think the big name brands are gonna you know like the the items that we find at sephora like tarte hourglass natasha denona i don't think that's coming from china because they're big name brands and um, they're able to produce, you know, the, the amount that BoxyCharm needs. So I don't think that's coming from China. But I can understand why a small brand would use a lab, you know, over in China because the cost is lower and they can get it done faster and make the amount they need. Like, I get that, right? But I think that's what a lot of people might have a problem with is the transparency because let's say you know, somebody who's adamant on only using cruelty-free products like Christy Rock Beauty Christy, for instance. She only uses cruelty-free products on her channel. 
So she's getting a box. She sees a spoiler. Okay, the iconic London palette is made in Italy. It's on their website. Always made in Italy. And then she gets her box and it's made in the People's Republic of China. I can understand why she would be a little bit disappointed. You know what I mean? Because we weren't made aware of it, you know? And I think that's what the issue is, you know, about the transparency. So, I think that's why people were up in arms about it. But in regards to the evil stepmother, I think she had good intentions. Uh, and I'm going to say that because I want to think the best of everybody. Um, I, I think she went about the video wrong. And I think she was probably misinformed. Because I know some of the things she said just... From what the companies are saying, just aren't true. You know, about Boxy only buying the palette from, or the packaging from Storybook Cosmetics and then putting their lab in China's eyeshadows in there. So, something, whatever that was, it was misinformed anyways. But um, it's just, it just seems like it was just been a sad day, you know, watching these videos and... Then going and seeing the hate on one and the hate on the other, and it's like, okay, can we just stop with the hate? You know what I mean? In retrospect, I mean, let's think about it. None of these brands or BoxyCharm are like giving some of us, you know, a thought. You know what I mean? Especially the people bringing the hate to, you know, um, Jen or the evil stepmother, you know what I mean? Like, BoxyCharm isn't giving some of us a thought, you know what I mean? And I just, oh, I hate seeing that, you know? Like, okay, she was misinformed. I think her intentions were good, but she went about it the wrong way, and she was misinformed, you know? And I know people are like saying, you know, she did it for clout or whatever, and again, I don't know this woman. I've only watched a couple of her videos. You know, and I'm going to think the best of somebody, you know what I mean? And everyone else can have their opinion. Like, you all can have your opinion. Say whatever your opinion is down below. You can have your opinion. I just, ah, uh, I hate seeing women beat on women. That's what I don't like to see. You know what I mean? And, and tear the other one down and uh, just, that bothers me. So seeing that bothered me this morning. So, but yeah, so Jen debunked a lot of what um alex had said and i just i don't know i just think both of it could have been i don't know handled differently you know and what is boxy doing like at least be transparent with boxy and the, the brand be transparent you know if you're going to have a product put in a box and it's not made in italy like usually you know that company's items are let us know before we buy it let people have that decision before they buy it you know let us know where it's being made and if certain ingredients are you know going to be it put in or taken out let people know you know because I mean some people like the talk in the in the blush from Ciate Beauty people are allergic to that you know what I mean um, but weren't aware you know until they got the package right so just be transparent I don't think there's anything wrong with asking for that, you know? Um, but now, we can go back and talk about that moisturizer that's coming in the premium box, that 24 karat gold moisturizer. I don't understand that. I really, really, got, I really don't understand that. Bef you know, it's a brand new company. It's owned by the people from Dirty Little Secrets. Somebody explained to me what Alibaba is. I've heard it's <clears throat> like a manufacturing company, not a manufacturing, but a company where you can order a whole big load of items from. Um, and the fact is, is comparing BoxyCharm's, that moisturizer picture compared to the one from Alibaba, they look the exact same except for the writing. You know, and this company, um, Foshia, which is owned by Dirty Little Secrets and Steve Laurent, which are the fillers in subscription boxes. And subscription boxes have fillers. We all know that. It's that last two products, you know, that are not the first spoilers coming out, right? Um, and, and there's an ex 
crazy price tag on it and half the time the products are crap they're fillers you know where are these products coming from like we got it you know where are they coming from and does it matter that's the question that every one of us individually has to answer like does it matter you know like the premium box we're getting tart hourglass oh my goodness a hair straightener or that curtsy palette and there's something else we're getting oh the glow spray Okay, we know those products are going to be legit. They're coming from a legit brand. You know, the same ingredients that we would find at Sephora, right? I would think so. I don't think they're going to change anything of that because it's big brand companies. But then there's always one or two or three fillers in a box, you know, from those companies where you're like, okay, you always see them in subscription boxes products usually not that great but the price tag on it is crazy you know and is that coming from Alibaba they just buy like 50,000 and slap some packaging on it and a price tag that they bought for a dollar forty is that what's happening with those products you know um, so but <laughs> our question to ourselves is does it matter, you know, if we're going to get like those four amazing products for the Boxy Premium for 50 bucks and two of them are filler, you know, that you might not use, you might not like, like that moisturizer, I'm not going to be touching that moisturizer because it's just, it's, it's unknown, you know what I mean? And everything that came up on it, I don't trust it. Me personally, I don't trust it. Now somebody else might love it and that's good for you, right? But for me personally, I think I might just put that aside, you know, but if you guys want to try it, that's great. Good on you. You know what I mean? But I don't think it's a reason for me to cancel my boxy charm box. You know, like we're getting four great products for 50 bucks, right? So I don't think it's a reason to like cancel boxy charm. I just think that they should be more transparent when, you know, we're thinking that we're getting a product made from a company that's, you know, made in their warehouse or wherever it usually is on their website, and then it comes and it's not. That's all. Just be transparent about it because some people have issues with it. But now that moisturizer, girl, I'm not. Hold on. And it seems like those filler companies go through stages. Like, remember when Steve Laurent was in every box and Dirty Little Secrets? And we don't hear from them anymore. Now there's new ones coming out, like Floss. It was in Top Box. It's coming in um, Glossy Box. Are we going to see it next in Look Fantastic or BoxyCharm? Where do they come from? Their new company. Who owns them? Is it Dirty Little Secrets? You know, is it Loritzi? Like, the fillers in the boxes. But, I do love this one though. I must say, I really do like this gloss. And I'm not a gloss person. You know, and it's just, it's everyone's decision. If it's, you know, something that's going to deter you from subscription boxes, or do you just don't mind it? You know what I mean? Like, Okay, I'm glad I got that floss in my top box, but now it's coming in glossy box. And how many more boxes is it going to come in until that fad is over and there's a new company that's going to be a filler for other subscription boxes? Like, do they work together? That's what, you know, that's a, do they work together? You know, like, whoever owns floss, what other companies do they own that we've seen as subscription boxes? And what happened to Pretty Little Secrets and Steve Laurent? Does anyone buy their stuff? You know, other than getting it from a subscription box, did anyone ever buy it? They've kind of like faded away, you know? So, you know, I think we have to question that. Where is it coming from, right? And not all of us are going to know the labs. And here I am putting on my Ciate 
blush, which I love. I love this blush, but some people said that um, it's not as good as the original from the website, but I wouldn't know because I've never owned the original, you know, from their website that was made in whatever lab. But I love this one. So I don't, I think it's, people just got to do what they want to do and if they have issues with it, then that's, um, you know, for them to decide what to do, right? But I think I kind of understand why, like, small brands like Ciate and Iconic London and Storybook Cosmetics, you know, I understand why they had to go to a lab in uh, China to make their product. I mean, I get that. Hey, our lab couldn't produce that much, you know, and make that much at that cost. So I get it. But I don't get that we didn't know about it. You know, we didn't know about it before we paid the box. And that's something that I think BoxyCharm should be aware of, that if stuff like that is going to happen, then they should let their subscribers know, you know, and give them the choice if they want to buy the box or not. Because some people do have issues with certain countries and, you know, certain ingredients. So that people should be made aware of that. Right. Okay. Oh, I also want to say, um, when I was having the conversation with, and you can see it under YouTube, uh, under Jen Loves Reviews, under my comment, when I was having a conversation with the lady from Storybook Cosmetics, um, I thanked her for, you know, replying and for giving me some insight, you know, letting us know, you know, what the real tea was, and again, like they always say, there's always three sides to the story, but in this fact, you know, there's boxy charms, there is storybook cosmetics, you know, and then there was the sister of storybook cosmetics and what she had, I don't know, she didn't tell, she didn't directly tell the stepmother. She had told another subscription company. So there were so many things, and unless you can get them all in a room and, you know, read the receipts of their taxes and stuff, no one's ever going to know the full story. Same thing as, you know, Siati London and BoxyCharm. Like, are they going to, to disclose how they decided to come upon, you know, sending their stuff to another country? Do you know what I mean? So, there's always three sides to the story. And everyone else just got to decide which side they want to believe most, you know? But, um, anyway, under Jen Loves Reviews video, I made a comment. And a storybook cosmetics commented under it and then we started chatting so they had offered um, offered or asked me to send them a message on Instagram and they would send me out another palette which I declined because I'm like I'm not you know here looking for free stuff just for conversation you know and you told me your side of the story and I'm grateful I'm grateful that you offered to send me a free palette but I'm not here looking for that you know um, but hey, follow me on Instagram. That would be awesome, right? And then she came back and she said, it's not a free product. It's a fair trade. You didn't like the old, you know, the storybook cosmetics, uh, Red Riding Hood that I got in BoxyCharm. I had said to her that I, I just didn't think it worked well. Um, and she said, it's free trade. You know, it's, they wanted to give me something in replace of that. And I haven't answered her back yet because I don't want anyone to take that the wrong way. So um, I want to know what you guys think. Like, do you think, you know, I should say, okay, you know, not a problem. Send it to me. I'd love to review something that came from your actual lab in the U.S. I don't have the other one from BoxyCharm anymore, you know, um, but I would love to review something that came from their actual lab and see if the formula is any better. Um, but I didn't answer back yet because I wanted to get your input on it because I don't want it, to, you know, to come off like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, because people can take things like that the wrong way. So I didn't want anybody to take that the wrong way. So I'm asking you, what should I do? Should I say, yeah, okay, thank you. You know, like I'd love to try one of your products or should I decline it? So let me know. What do you think about that in the comments below? Because I did already decline it once. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below about that. Okay, what are we doing here? We need a palette, and you know what? I got Fenty right next to me, so and it's a mini, so we're going to use that. 
How is everybody doing, by the way, about using your minis? I can use, there's only one issue with my minis and that's the foundation because a lot of it is not matching my skin shade that I have. But everything else, I'm still using the mini highlighters, the mini blushes, except for I just use a Ciate and I don't really consider that a mini. Crackers. But, um, yeah. And I just use the floss thing as a lip. I'm not doing very good with my minis today, am I? Not at all. But I'm using my priming as everything because I don't have a mini eyeshadow primer right I don't think I do all right so let me know did you see both the lives today what did you think of them um, did you read the comments and you know what do you think about that when you see I mean oh bothers me when I see nasty comments you know, towards human beings who like you know, really didn't do any seriously wrong. Like, I mean, they didn't hurt a child, hurt an animal, you know? And it's scary sometimes on social media, like some people, you know, are just scary. They just go all up in arms over something that really, in light of life, shouldn't be that serious. You know what I mean? Like makeup, for instance. Like having people threaten your, you know, threaten you, your home, your work, your family, like stuff like that is really crazy. Like that really bothers me. The scary part about being out there on social media, you know, and if you don't agree with someone's opinion and they have some crazy stands out there. I find sometimes though when I'm reading stuff like that and you look at the person who's going nuts go I'm coming after you and you're gonna be fired from your job and they're usually children you know what I mean and I'm like I wonder what your mother would say right now if, you know she's seen the stuff that you're writing on social media all right what are we doing I'm taking my Fenty I haven't used this in a while I'm taking the light shade it's just a nude a very white shade actually and just setting um, my primer I do this sometimes, sometimes I don't do this. Hello, baby. Ian made a yummy homemade pizza last night, everyone. It was delicious. And we had that today for lunch. And <laughs> we might just have it again for dinner. Because we didn't take out anything for dinner. I might work on um, doing the rest of my declutter videos later on this evening but I have to get some work done first and I have to do laundry I'm gonna be dead somebody let me know how do you get foundation out of your clothes like how am I gonna get it out because it doesn't come out I'm dead I'm dead that's the last thing he said to me don't get anything on it don't get any makeup on my shirt so yeah I'm gonna be dead what are we 33 minutes all right 33 minutes into this long ass video Oh my goodness. So I'm hoping like I didn't step on anybody's toes with my videos or my video today. I'm hoping I explained what I think about it. You know, um, I hope that somebody doesn't take it the wrong way. If I said anything, I don't know. Because you know, sometimes you're just afraid uh, when you're talking about controversy because, you know, not everyone is going to agree with you, and that's okay, right? But it's scary because some people can be scary, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't have scary subscribers. You guys aren't scary. But, you know, every now and then I might have someone come along and tell me to go mm, myself, you know, who's not a subscriber. But I guess that's just the way it goes. Everybody is different. And I don't think any of these videos are going to harm BoxyCharm. Like, people aren't going to unsubscribe. I really don't believe they are. Because when you think about it, we are getting a good deal. If the main brands, you know, are the same from their website into the BoxyCharm box. You know, if not a lot of things change. But 
I think that's the problem people a lot of people now some people don't have any issues with it at all you know my only thing was hey be transparent for those who have issues with certain things be transparent so they have a choice right um, that's my only thing you know so people can decide if they want to get that box or not you know what I mean because some people do have issues I don't some people do all right I'm coming back okay so this is my final look I use the Fenty mini love this isn't that pretty oh it's so pretty um, the mascara I use my hourglass hourglass caution mascara can't even tell you where this was made because it's so small and I need glasses because my eyes are really bad. Once you hit 40, your eyes get really bad. So that's it. I just wanted, I don't know, I don't. I just wanted to like talk about it, you know? And um, after all the stuff that happened this morning, it did kind of leave like a really bitter taste in my mouth. Not bitter, but I don't know, sad. I was kind of nauseous because I just don't like seeing people go after people, you know? And I really want to believe that everyone has the best intentions and um, yeah, and I guess, you know, my only issue, if I had an issue, which I really don't, but if I did, it would be that it wasn't transparent, you know, but I don't have any issues, you know, I'm, I'm cool if it's coming from China, like I'm cool if there's talk in the product, you know, um, but I know some people have issues with that. That's what I mean, like that should have been made transparent for those people to decide before they bought the box, you know, but other than that, you know, that moisturizer though and filler companies I think we need to look into filler companies look into those companies and just where does it come from you know what I mean because um, there's a lot of that in subscription boxes Mwah. bye love you please don't forget to like my video bye